What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Be Back with you once again for another round of Deal or No Deal right here at MVG Productions. Glad you could join me here once again. Well, we've played about five games of this so far here on the channel, and we have yet to um, crack the million dollar case at some point. So, starting with, um, well, actually, you know what? Starting with this one, I'm going to actually try and see if we can't work our way up to winning the big prize. Um, we've got a, we've got a, we've got another fun game ahead, and I'm ready to see if I can't crack that million dollars on this one. Uh, just making sure a couple things are set here. I think we're already ready to go. So I say let's waste no more time. Let's get to the cases and let's play some deal or no deal. Alright, as you guys know, the game is a takes guts, luck, and a great sense of timing in order for me to walk out of here with a million dollars. But in order to get the million dollars, we need the cases to come in. So, if you don't mind, computer, please. All right, there are the cases. 26 of them to be precise. Each of them holds a different amount of money. Don't know what's where, but I do know one of them has our top prize of $1 million. Working all the way down to one penny. And to win it, all I have to do is just pick the case with a million dollars in it. One out of 26 chance, right? You wouldn't think that'd be hard. And you know what? For this particular game, I'm actually not going to pick my case. I'm going to let my AI pick it. As in, you know, the one that's made by Amazon. So, Alexa, pick a number between 1 and 26. All right. She told me 19. So 19 is our case of the day. Let's see if I can use a computer to figure out what this computer is doing and win a million dollars. Sounds simple, right? What could, what could possibly go wrong? All right. But to find out what's in my case, i got to start by opening these. Clearly what's in those ain't in mine. Round one means I open up six cases, and I say we jump to it. All right, uh, we'll start with, um, let's see, we'll go with number three. We'll go ahead and take Jason's tree out of play to start with, and it's worth $400. So we're good starting. Let's go to 14. Ten thousand dollars, still fine. It's not. A, it's not a heartbreak, but I'm like just anything lower than that would be fine. Um, twenty. Other side of that same row. Seven hundred fifty dollars. Okay. It's usually a good sign. So now I'm curious, what was in the case in front of nineteen? What was in eighteen? I'm gonna see if I can't. $100. Ooh. Two small cases side by side. Could that mean there's possibly a big one in mine? Or could it just be a row of bad luck? You never know. But uh, I like I like the way it's set up so far. We'll see. Um, eight. Number eight. We have... Ooh. 
Uh, not the one I wanted to open at all. $750,000 off the board. But the million's still in play. Let's keep it that way. 26. Last case for this round. And we'll see what's back there. 5,000. Okay, so I split three and three on this one. So the board average, about the same where it was. But the fact that the $750,000 did get hit means my first offer is going to be on the low side. Let's see what the banker says as he calls me and Dan for my first offer of the day. And that first offer is going to be worth... $27,000. All right. We have, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight cases that are worth more than that still in play. And there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There are ten cases less than that in play. He's slightly, on, he's slightly above average from where I should be, but not good enough for me to get out. No deal. See, I'm, I'm applying an un unforeseeable amount of logic to this game. Why? I don't know. I just feel like it works for, for me today. All right, round two, open up five cases. Let's go 23. $100,000. Ouch. Okay. Oh, well, that one didn't hurt nearly as bad as the 750 But still, it's off the board. Let's go to... I need one of my lucky cases now. 25. I'm opening 25 way too early, but I need I need some good luck here. 50 bucks. There we go. Would not have been a good case to pick today. Um, you know what? Let's go 13. I'm sort of staying in this upper right-hand corner here because it's working. Oh, no. Oh, no. You mean today was the day to pick 13 for the million? Ugh. Well, that sucks. That just sucks. But all right. 500,000 still up for grabs. We play on with number 10. Oof. Oh, the, I, I hear the banker cackling from here. One. First one up. Please be something low. $200. To say that I took a beating that round would be an understatement at this point. 27000 was my first offer. I'm 90% sure my offer is like around twelve grand at this point. It's less than half of that for sure. Ugh, 18 though. Okay, I have not, it didn't tank as hard as I thought it was going to, but I'm like, all right. 18,000. Well, I didn't budge at 27. I'm sure it's, I'm not going for 18 now with 300, 400, $500,000 still up there, so no deal. Now, folks at home, for me, at this point in the game, I've already sort of set my block here. It's round three, and I'm pretty much now trying to do whatever I can to protect the three hundred, four hundred, and five hundred thousand dollar cases. And I have seven picks that I'm going to have to get through before these three cases are safe. So that I can't, uh, or get to a point where I can't eliminate all three of them in a single round. I have to open up seven, and there are let's see, five, eight, nine, twelve, fifteen cases in play. So I have to open up half of these and not find these three amounts. That's what I'm looking at right here. And that's what I'm going to have to try to do. So let's get started with number 11, Dead Set. We'll play the bullseye. Open the case. Penny, nice. That's a great start. That'll help my offer significantly. 
Let's see if we can keep it going up with 24. Okay, 24 is. Oh no. 400,000 gone. I am in trouble on this one. 21. I really need a low amount. 500 is okay. One more case. Going two. Little deuce. One had a low amount in it. I'm hoping two does as well. 50,000. Eh, that's the line case. So that was the line. So, all right. I am still in trouble at this point, folks. Because if I can go on, I have to open up three more cases. I only have two big amounts left. If I knock those out, the, low, the biggest amount I can hit is $75,000. Um, my offer probably went up a little bit, but not much. I'm thinking 20 grand. Let's see, the banker's offering me $31,000. Well, again, I think he's being generous and trying to get me out of here. But I think I can, I think I can get his offer at least at 75 and, I'll, and I would call it quits. But not yet. We'll play one more round. De no deal. I, I, gen I genuinely think I'm in trouble on this one. It's hard to say. All right, I filled up three cases, two big amounts of play. I really need a clean round here to have a chance to get back in this. So let's go. Seven. That's one. Okay. $10 off the board. Two more. 16 I'm going to stay in this upper quadrant here. Come on. Low amount, low amount, low amount. Ooh. There goes a 300,000. Now I am genuinely worried of the fact that I do not have 500,000 in my case. I think it's up there at this point. One more. 17. I right, hopefully they wouldn't put two side by side. Come on. Anything but the 500,000 at this point. And there goes the $75,000 case. Wow, this is becoming a very bad game of extremes here. Three cases gone. I'm, I'm pretty much in a minefield at this point. The 300,000 is gone. The 500,000 is still in play. But it's now go big or go home with nothing. Last offer was 31,000. This offer is going to be 37,000. So probably only because the 500,000 stayed in play. Uh. If I go on, it's two cases at this point. But there are a lot of cases up there. Even if the 500,000 is still on the board, it's a two out of seven chance. One out of seven chance that I open it with two cases. I gotta think I, I gotta get one of these rounds to fall in my favor, right? It's gotta be. No deal. You have to think one of these love one of these rounds has to fall my way. Statistics say that. Let's go six. Come on, looking for a dollar. Five dollars. Twenty-five. Anything on the left side of the board would be amazing at this point. So please no big amount. Open the case. 
300. Fine. I'll take it. That's one. All I need is one more. Just get away from this round, and I am okay. 22. I just need a, a dollar. A small dollar amount. Seventy-five. Okay. Yeah, this is definitely looking like a game of extremes now, folks. Six cases left in play. The smallest one is a dollar. The largest one is five hundred thousand dollars. And if I want to get out of the game now, the deal is now worth sixty-four thousand dollars. Now, if I decide to go on, the 80% chance if the $500,000 is up on the board still somewhere in one of those five cases, I have an 80% chance of missing it on this next pick. And I figured $75,000 was probably about the amount I would get out of this game with. Sixty-four dollars ain't quite there. So I'm going to try my luck once and once only. No deal. I'm probably crazy for doing that. All I need is a good defense because I'm feeling like a criminal. And I am praying to God that the $500,000 is not, I repeat, is not in number 12. Because if you remember, opened up a little earlier, 13 had the million. So surely to God, the $500,000 would not have been right beside it. 12 is safe. Come on. Give me anything but the 500,000 and I'm out of here. Probably. Oof. Wow. I said this was getting to become a game of extremes and now it is. The $25,000 what I would consider a nice consolation prize is gone. And is now down to a Four case, five cases left in play. Four I can pick from. If again the five hundred thousand dollars up on the board, I have a seventy-five percent chance of avoiding. Or I can walk away with this offer. Seventy-three thousand dollars. Oh my gosh! Really? I said I'd walk with seventy-five, and you're gonna short me by two thousand dollars you cheap cheap i swear this game listens to me at times it listens to me that or that or i've been a casino dealer for so long that statistics in my head i've already mapped out where i should be and he's gonna short change me but again this is my best offer of the game it's a three out of four chance if i go on But you know what? I feel like today's not my day. And I feel if I go on, the next case is going to be cata catastrophe. I'll let the banker walk away with his 2000 bucks in, in money. I'm taking the deal. Alright, it's not the million I wanted, wasn't the half a million, but $73,000 is an 80% chance that this is a better offer than what's in my case right now. And at the end of the day, that's the important part about making the best deal that you possibly can. But could I have done better? Let's find out. As we relight the cases, had I not went on, I would have saved my lucky case and I would have went with number 5 next. Number five. See, right there. I got out at the exact right time. That was the best deal I could have possibly made today. And my bank offer would have been $210. See, I knew better. 
I knew better. I had a feeling, and I went well. My case had five bucks in it. Thanks. My AI picked me out a $5 case. Here's where everything else was. Ah, I had, funny, I had 25 in my 15. But yeah, I made the absolute best deal I could. I stole a $5 case for $73,000, making a profit of $72,995. I'm not mad at that. that. That's a good day. That was a good day, and I got out at just the right time. So, how well did you guys do at home? Let me know in the comment section below. And thanks for watching another fun game of Deal or No Deal right here on the channel. If you want to see more games of Deal or No Deal, check out the full Deal or No Deal playlist here. And for more information and for, and for more great videos and things of like that, make sure you subscribe to the channel down below. Hit that subscribe button, ring the bell, that way you never miss out on all the fun and games here at MVG Productions. And don't forget to follow me on Twitter as well at MVG underscore prod. That's MVG underscore prod for more, uh, for all the latest information from MVG Productions. But in the meantime, between time, thanks so much for watching. And may, you, may your next deal be the best one you can make. And we'll see you next time I right hear on Deal or No Deal.